Okay. So what we're going to talk about now is a breakthrough study, really a breakthrough study on chronic fatigue. Sometimes it's called a myalgic, <laughs> excuse me, myalgic encephalomyelitis, meaning myalgia, meaning muscle pain. The brain is not functioning and the nervous system is inflamed. Uh, so that's what this my, ME, myalgic encephalitis, or chronic fatigue syndrome. And the main thing there is fatigue that get, gets worse with uh, exertion. And what they found, which is break, groundbreaking, is that there's a dysfunction of the integrative brain regions, these brain regions that integrate what's going on within you and what's going on without in the world around you. And these are the parietal areas primarily, which is above the ear and a little bit back, the parietal areas on the right and the left. And what they found that the muscles of, are normal. Uh, they, I'll show you all the things they, they tested here. Uh, muscles, motor, cardiopulmonary, body composition, brain imaging, autonomic function, the cerebrospinal fluid. They look at all these things to see, are these people different than normal controls? And the answer is they were not different. Their muscles were the same. Their cognitive functions when they tested them were the same. The cerebrospinal fluid was the same. Their autonomic function may have been disturbed a little bit. Their motor functions, strength and grip and motivation. Their strength and their muscle fibers were actually normal. But their ability to persist and push through the task was actually reduced. They were like, oh, this is too hard. I can't do it. It's really too hard. It makes me so exhausted. I don't really want to do it. This is just too much. But they didn't find any physical reason for that. These are people with chronic infections. And then what they found, the real difference was, was here in the brain. This is the right parietal area here. This is, the ear would be here, if you could see my cursor. Right here, these yellow areas, the right parietal area. And this was abnormal in these people. It so happens that I was treating uh, a patient before I read this paper and looking at his quantitative EEG and deciding where to treat him with the laser, with the photobiomodulation. And we treated a couple of areas, but this area is one of the areas we targeted. And in fact, with the first treatment, he felt more relaxed. And then he reported that day that he was actually better to, able to perform in various tasks. And he actually had a very good day. He does have them occasionally, but uh, but this was kind of interesting that he had it when we were targeting this area that was outlined in this paper. Uh, I've since treated another person and I have some other people coming and I'm seeing that treating this area does cause relaxation. And in one person, it actually reduced pain dramatically within minutes, within minutes. Uh, so... This is a big breakthrough for chronic fatigue. And the basic idea is this. You have infection chronically, and the infection produces these proteins, these peptides, these antigens. Your immune system reacts to it. And that causes a dysfunction in this part of the brain, which is also involved with adrenaline, really noradrenaline of the brain. And now we see that the sensations of chronic fatigue a lot of it stems from the brain. And the last thing I'll say is that this is kind of like phantom limb pain. Phantom limb pain comes on, let's say, God forbid, you've been uh, lost a leg. And then six months later, you, you lost your right leg. Six months later, you say, oh, my right toe is itching. Well, can't be your right toe is itching because you don't have a right toe, right? Where is that coming from? It's coming from the brain. The brain creates the sensations. It's the same thing here, that this part of the brain has been injured or dysregulated by the chronic infectious process. And it appears now, it's three people, uh, that the laser, the transcranial photobiomodulation actually quickly improves this. Now, does the treatment have to continue on and on? We don't know yet. Uh, it's My thought is that if you treat the infection, that obviously will stop the damage. I'm not so sure, however, well, that it will reverse the function here because this area has been dysregulated. You might have to jumpstart it uh, and then maybe it'll come back or you might have to do, you know, chronic treatments, you know, once, twice a week, three times a week or something with the laser. So that's a big breakthrough that, that we're uh, seeing here at the uh, Whole Psychiatry and Brain Recovery Center. Anyone have any questions? 
So I think we 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 have patience that this is going to be especially helpful for a lot of patients. Actually. A lot of patients explaining their pain to them and their fatigue. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's 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 a real experience, but it's perceived as an energy deficit, but it's actually not an energy deficit. Mm. A motivational deficit is actually, yes, it's a motivational de deficit, but it's really coming from this dysfunction of the brain. This part of the brain is working hard to integrate what's going on in the world, what's going on inside. It's a lot of work creates a lot of anxiety, a, a subtle form of stress, and and uh, treating it with laser actually quickly brings a, a sense of relaxation because that part of the brain now has energy to function, and so now the brain can function, and you're not carrying this really an unconscious form of stress from, it's like the, the brain is not really working properly, and you feel it, you experience it as a nonspecific stress. Wow. Amazing. Uh, maybe other, you know, specific infections that target this area. We, I don't know at this point, but that's uh, that's really a update. Uh, hot off the press. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Thanks for uh, all being here. And uh, if you're interested, this is the team at the uh, Whole Psychiatry Brain Recovery Center. We have Sean Avrashami, left upper here, and then we have. Eile on the right middle and Dr. Morris and our Pauline here in the middle on the left. And we have Sarah, nutritionist on the bottom left. Thank you all for watching.